Okay, hi everyone. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own Amiibo cards on the iPhone. Um, Amiibo cards are what you need for Animal Crossing when you want to invite a specific villager to your village. I'm going to teach you how to make that card for the specific villager that you want. Um, I know it can be a pain traveling from island to island trying to find the villager that you really want, especially with how many there are. So I'm going to make it a little bit more easier for you. Um, obviously, Androids uh, can do this as well, um, but this tutorial is for iPhones and it has been working up to today, September 15th. So hopefully it will continue to work. I know several people who have done this uh this way that i'm about to show you and it still works and it's completely worked for me with no problem i also know that some people have a bit of trouble with their placebo cards that they buy online it sometimes works sometimes doesn't i can say that with the cards i've made it's worked non-stop every single time uh so let's get into it so first things first you're going to need to get some ntag 215 cards or little coins you can get them from amazon or ebay um i ordered mine from amazon i got it within like two days um so you're gonna need that you need to make sure they're n tag 215 or else they're not gonna work um these cards are the specific ones you need for amiibo so make sure you do that uh next up you're gonna need to download files and placebo it is also good for you to download an app called izip um or any kind of app that kind of unzips files just in case the files app doesn't work. Um, it does normally, but in cases the files app doesn't want to unzip your file, it's best to have a backup plan just in case. Um, but all of these apps are free and you can get them from the Apple iTunes store, whatever it's called nowadays, but you can get it from there. Um, so yeah, so once you've done that, head over to this website called NCF Bank. It is great, it has all the Amiibos in the world um for different games um so this is where the animal crossing one is or if you don't feel like looking for that you can search animal crossing bins on google and it will come up for reddit files um but i'm gonna leave all the links that you need in the description below um they are files that you need to download on your phone um as far as i'm aware they're not virusy i haven't caught anything on my phone um so they are safe for me um so once you've gone onto the website, you can download the Animal Crossing bin file. It is the complete set of all different kind of villagers, even special villagers that you get on like holidays. However, you can't invite them to stay or live at your village, unfortunately. It's just, you know, the villagers that you can, for example, like Molly, Stitches, Lolly, any of them. Um, you also need an encryption key. Now, the encryption key is important. You need to have the encryption key for this to work. So I'm also going to leave the link for that in the description below. That is one of the most important things out of this whole situation. So once you've loaded up the website, click download. It should take a couple seconds. If it takes a little bit longer, just be patient. I know the Animal Crossing file is quite big, so it may take a bit longer than the encryption key to download. But once you've downloaded these files, they should then be stored in your files app. Okay, your files app, which is where you then head to next. So once you've gone on there, um, you will see a folder that is zipped for Animal Crossing. Click on that. If it doesn't unlock or unzip, then go onto the iZip app and unlock it there. Um, but if it does, perfect. That's all you need. You just need to make sure it's in a different file and it's unzipped. You also need to make sure that your key retail bin has downloaded. Once again, that is extremely important that you have key retail bin downloaded as that is your encryption key. And I cannot stress this enough, but your encryption key is what will help you scan your card. So search for that, just type key retail bin, it should come up. So then after that, you go on to placebo. Once you're on placebo, this is where everything happens. So what you need to do is you need to click on settings. Once you're on settings, make sure to click on encryption key. Now this, this is where you input your file. Now I believe it should be titled key retail bin. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on encryption key and then you're going to, you're going to select key retail bin. Once it's loaded, make sure you like save your settings. This has a button for that. 
Um, mine is already there, as you can see, because I've tested this out and I've already got the file on my phone. So, once it's all there, you're sorted with the encryption key. That is the most important part. If you do not have the encryption key, this is not going to work. The, the settings, the situation just won't work. So, you need to make sure you have that encryption key because it is crucial. So, once you've done your encryption key, you're going to need to click on NFC it's like literally next to the button to settings and then you're going to need to click on library now my library is filled with different characters because i've been trying this out um and get my villages um so what you need to do is click the little plus sign in the top right corner once you click on that you then need to click on select binary file now once you've clicked on binary file you just need to search for the villager you want uh in this case i'm going to use molly because i want molly so I'm going to search for her name, select the file that comes up, um, and then uh, you're going to click save, okay? Make sure you save it. <laughs> you click on the character you want, so I'm going to click on Molly, because Molly is who I want. Once you click on the name of the villager that you want, uh, it should, there should be a write to tag section at the very bottom of the screen. It should go from looking dull to be lit up once it's lit up that means it is ready to scan to the card so once you have done everything i've just said you need to grab your iphone and your blank card make sure it is blank you can't rewrite them once you've loaded a file onto them so what you're going to do is you're going to you you're going to take your card make sure you click on write to tag on the placebo app uh, come up with a screen like that. You're going to take your blank card. And you're going to hold it against your iPhone. Now, it is near the top. There's so many different ways I've managed to read the card. So I've managed to do it a little bit apart. Um, but it is better to do it on the top. Now, it might not scan straight away. That's okay. That doesn't mean you've got a faulty card. It takes a while sometimes. Um, there has been times where I've had to do it a couple times. Um... One being, you can often get a dodgy card in your pile. Uh, that's okay, just try another card and it'll often pretty much work. Um, if not, don't give up, just keep scanning your card over and over. Um, sometimes you could be here for like a couple minutes continuing to try. Like I remember I was doing stitches and it took me three to four times to scan it. But it worked and there's nothing faulty with the card. Um, like I said, sometimes you can have a faulty card. But don't stress, just, like I said, against the back of your iPhone, keep it there until it scans, like mine. Once it's scanned, you obviously you take your, your card, uh, take it to your Switch, go to the computer in Animal Crossing, you know, in the town hall bit. Scan your Amiibo card, it should pop up and say, um, do you want to invite blah 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 to your village. Make sure you click yes. Um, also, if you've never invited a villager to your village before, note that it takes three days to get them to move into your village. So you have to complete tasks for them every single day. Um, they don't just move in like that, like a normal campsite person would. Uh, you have to invite them for several days. So don't get stressed. Um, another tip, if they come to your village and they want you to make something but you don't have the uh you don't have any of the materials to make it with so for example stitches wants you to make something with cardboard don't stress um you can invite them again the next day and that will still count as a, a day so stitches on my first day wanted something made with cardboard i didn't have any cardboard left whatsoever there was no way i could get any i invited him again the next day and then he still wanted to move in so don't stress yeah, uh, and so uh, I hope it all works. Let me know. Cheers.